to Education and the former Vice Chancellor of the University of Education, Weneba, is calling for his immediate reinstatement and that of his dismissed colleagues by the Council of the University. Mauto advocates said the current Vice Chancellor, Professor Afol Bruni, and in events leading to his dismissal. Now, breaking his silence almost a year after his dismissal, Professor Avoke said he's been exonerated of the baseless accusations leveled against him. Little did we know that we were still going to be at home till date. When all the allegations made against us have been proven to be incorrect, especially by Yoko, a state organization that investigated the said allegation, which similarly formed the basis of the university's own fact-finding investigations. The Yoko report, interestingly, indicated that the Transport Committee, which is chaired by the Pro Vice Chancellor, has questions to answer. At the time, Professor Fulbrady was Pro Vice Chancellor. Ladies and gentlemen, it has now become very clear that at least two persons, Reverend Professor Antonia Fulbrady and Professor Ibanoel Nicolas Abeka, the chairman of the governing council, played very critical roles to ensure the wrongful removal of my colleagues and I from our various offices and position in the university. All right, so you just had uh, the former vice chancellor of the University of Winneba Education, Professor Mauto Avoke, addressing the my colleague Martin has said that uh, has sat through that press conference. Martin, uh, what were some of the key highlights of the press conference? Well, good afternoon, Pakwesi, and to our viewers as well. It was more or less of the the breaking of the silence of Mr. Avoka. You know, in the back and forth of the university in the last few months, he has been quiet, but he's a key uh, figure in the the entire ampas and so today he decided to meet the media and give his side of the story. He started by giving a background as to how this whole thing started and said that it was he that even uh, after he had been nominated and appointed as the got um, Professor Afel Bruni to be his vice chancellor and handed over to him. At a point, the chairman of the council, the governing council, that is Professor Abaka, was also working very closely with him. So to him, both of them later, because especially Professor Afelbroni wanted the position of vice chancellor and didn't get it, masterminded his dismissal. And he gave a chronology of events leading to how they played a role. One was that a fact-finding committee was put together to look into how the university can defend itself in a case that was brought against the university by uh, one fisherman in the area who was represented by the member of parliament for Ifutu. Mm, um, Afenyo Marking. Yes, Mr. Afenyo Marking. Now, this committee ended up getting information and he is alleging, the, that's Professor Mautko, uh, Mauto M Avocate, Mauto Avocate, is alleging that the information that the fact-finding committee f got was leaked to this fisherman and helped um, um, him to uh, win the case against him the to university. Win the case against the university, mm. and was all part of the ploy to get, get him out of position. And he has gone on to say, I'm going to just read portions of what he said. He says, Professor Afroboni did contest with me uh, for the position of the vice chancellor of the university and was unsuccessful, as I was the one who was recommended by the search committee and thus eventually got appointed by the council. And fast forward to this point, he said, it is now clear who in the cloak or dead of the night was meeting the member of parliament for a Futu constituency and sharing fabricated materials and official document of the university and misrepresenting same of him, as recently claimed by the member of parliament himself on mm. various media platforms. So that's it. Essentially, we based so on this press conference, really. This press is to tell mm. his side of the story mm. and then also to call for his reinstatement. And that After all his, that has happened, yes, he wants and, to be reinstated. And that of his colleagues, mm. because uh, it was about four people mm. and him that mm. were dismissed. And said that other people who had been dismissed recently are people who knew the history of the university and the history of these uh, developments. And so they, they've been victimized. And, yes, and they are being victimized. So, by the uh, he's calling for his reinstatement. His call. Has he said what he will do next if he's not reinstated? Yes, he said that they are waiting on the stakeholders. And we asked him who these stakeholders are. He said the Ministry of Education, the government, the governing council, the current vice chancellor, they all know what has happened and have 
have a role to play. So hoping that the stakeholders would go according to the laid down procedures of the university and the states of Ghana and reinstate him. Otherwise, May 26, they'll be going back to the court. Back to court. Thank you very much, uh, Martin Siedu Data, with updates of that press conference organized by the former uh, Vice Chancellor of the University of Education, Winneba Professor uh, Mauto Avoke.